Welcome to Hands-On Equations Lesson 1. The first thing that you need to know about hands-on equations is that you need to have the correct pieces. You will have the balance scale. This is actually just a two-dimensional balance scale that will represent two equal sides. So whatever is on one side has to equal what's on the other. And we want to make sure that that stays balanced. So the next thing you'll need, you will need two red number cubes that are low numbers. So we have numbers 0 through 5. And then we have number cubes that are numbers 5 through 10. So there's two of those. And then you will need eight blue pawns. Each of these pawns represents an unknown number. We're going to call this Mr. X. Okay, so what we're going to do is set up a problem. And I have one written out here for you. So we're going to set up this problem that looks like this. The important thing to keep in mind is that what's on one side of the balance scale is equal to what's on the other side. So you see that we have on this side two pawns, which is equal to the number eight. So we're going to set that up with the pieces. Over here we're going to use two blue pawns on one side, and then we need an eight number cube on the other side. And it really doesn't matter if you use one number cube that equals eight, or if you want to split it up into two numbers that add up to eight, it's going to be the same thing because it will total eight on the right hand side. Okay, so now what we want to do is figure out what Mr. X is equal to. And if we look on the left, we have two X's and they're equal to eight. So each of these X's has to be equal to the same, you have to be equal to each other, and they're equal to eight, so one, one blue pawn is going to be equal to four, because four plus four equals eight, and that stays balanced. So over here on our answer sheet, we're going to look at this first question, and we're going to fill in X equals four. Now for each problem that we do, we're also going to check it. And the way that we check it is we go back to the original equation, the way it's written, or the way it's represented here with our pieces. And if each pawn is equal to four, which is what we found out as our solution, that means on, on the left-hand side, we have four plus four, which is equal to eight. So that means that 8 equals 8. So when we write our check over on the answer sheet, we're going to write 8 equals 8, and we can put a check mark there because we know that that is, whoops, that that is correct. It's checked because one side equals the other. So now we have one problem complete, and we know that the equation is balanced because what is on one side is equal to what's on the other.